timing is everything. <laughs> and here we are. Welcome back to the Kind of Nerdy Ghost Podcast. Poop, 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 pow, 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 ping, ping. <laughs> That's nice. the sound of Kitsy's phone. <laughs> 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 oh, I better move <laughs> that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay. uh, Katie, Katie said that she didn't get invited. Oh. Uh, Katie uh, didn't get invited. Oh. oh, no one likes her, and she smells funny. Uh, can so. we still? We can Shh, still don't invite tell her. Her. Just All right. going. <laughs> This is a Cat and Dirty Girls podcast, and Katie's not invited, but you are. Uh, we're doing another uh, show via ZenCaster. Uh, because we're all still safely uh, social distancing. Although I hear that Shelly uh, had a visi- visitor today and got some groceries, so we're going to have to make sure that she followed protocol. <laughs> uh, so uh, let's go around the room and give our fun facts. Choo, choo, pa 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 pa. The Cut and Nerdy Girls podcast stars Kitsy. My fun fact is I learned that my high school now has a paranormal club like the Glee Club and the band and all that stuff. They have ghost hunters. And I'm a little jealous and I want to go back to high school. What? Ah, Griffith does? No, no, like, no one wants to go back to high school. You should oh, that's awesome. There. You should volunteer to be their like, uh, paranormal person. Yeah. Hang on, guys. Hang on. Choo, choo, choo. It's the intro time. Please don't talk too much. Thank you. <laughs> Poof, choo, choo. Jana. <laughs> Um. <laughs> Jenna, you're on. Go, uh, girl, go. I'm so sorry. I have get to, it together, I'm laughing. Jenna. I'm so sorry. Uh, my fun fact is, I've been in quarantine for seven days, and I have officially read one whole book. Wow, Yay. I know, right? That's disappointing. Who's that, Katie? Choo, choo, pow, pow. Choo, ooh, ooh, Katie ooh, ooh, now. ooh. We thought she was going to be late, but here she is, Katie. Uh, I am choo, still late. Choo, ding. I don't know what well, to tell you Is that your fun fact? Fun fact. Uh, I am- that I'm chronically late? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Choo, pow, Shelly. Hey, guys. My fun fact today is nobody seems to know what washi tape is. It's little decorative tape that you decorate journals with and quality matters. Yeah, it's and like the cereal, the yeah, spelling anyway. Good washi and bad washi. Choo, choo, ching, ching, ching. Thank you, Shelly. Poo, ching, ching, ching. Uh, producer Patches. Hello. And my fun fact is I hate watching TV shows with my wife because she snores and falls asleep by the second episode. Ching, ching, ching. And my name's KJ. And I hate sharing a bed with my husband because he snores all night long. Danger. Welcome. Right. Choo, choo. Is this a very passive aggressive today. episode? Out. I've been sleeping with earplugs for the past three years and I've never slept better. Hint, hint, wink, wink. KJ, get you some. I can't sleep with earplugs because I have such tiny ears because, you know, I'm not like fully grown. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so no earplugs work for me. Even children's size don't stay in. Nope. You're not or like the kind high that high come high. in a headband. Sorry. I know. So I what I buy you a headband with earphones in it? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. But I have found that that doesn't w- work either. No matter how loud I turn up the music, I can still hear patches. He uh, snores just like my lot. husband. I mean, so, Oh my gosh, it's so bad. You better get some so drugs, bad. man. He needs a CPAP. I do not need a CPAP. Yes, you do. You, you need the machine. Do. After seeing Jumanji and look how sound asleep Danny DeVito was, oh, I so really cute. loved a CPAP. Oh my God. <laughs> Can we talk about how that was a super cute, that, the, it was a super cute movie. I really enjoyed that Jumanji one. was, I haven't seen yes, it yet. we just watched it a couple nights ago. Oh, okay. I loved it. It was so good. So good. Uh, um, I think we could talk about it without spoiling it. Uh, Katie, what did you think as compared to the first Jumanji? I thought it was just as funny without detracting from the first one at all. You know, the first one being you the on reboot yeah, first right? one? Yes, yeah, with the, the rock. Okay. Yes, yeah. 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 With, with the two hottest people on the planet. Also, the oh, bad guy Karen was and the, the rock. Game of Thrones in the second I know, one. Right? Who was? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Karen and the Rock. Karen and the Rock. She is gorgeous. She looks just as gorgeous in um in this one and she plays the awkward girl so well. She just does a really oh, good job. Oh, she's my favorite. So does the Rock. <laughs> oh yeah, he does a really good job too, obviously. I mean, they're both yeah, they both do a great job. But yeah, I really enjoyed it too and I thought it was really funny. The premise was a little bit irritating to me at the start and I'm just going to say that without giving anything away. Um but but once I got past that um, I really did enjoy it. it. It was almost like once they got into the game, yeah, 
back into the game, you're like, all right, cool, here we go. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And this yep. was straight to well, digital. It didn't make the theaters, right? Oh, no, 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 no. no. no, no. It, it was actually <laughs> number one in the box office for like three <laughs> weeks, three, four weeks, I want to say. Yeah, it yeah. was. I've apparently been under a It was in the theaters. dead period. It was kind of, yeah. <laughs> it was in theaters in uh, December uh, because we were supposed to do a kind of nerdy night out for it and That's it, right. it, and it got snowed out we weren't we weren't able to do it <laughs> the one so, snow we got <laughs> as you yes, yes. But you know what and then the other snows we got were what was the movie we still we, we still went ahead and did it but it oh, was snowing it, it, uh, anyway. birds of prey birds yeah. of prey yeah, yeah. Birds of prey. uh yeah yeah. And it was packed. We had one of the biggest turnouts we ever did for a live podcast. Yeah. Like, and it, I mean, snow, snow hadn't accumulated yet. It had just started snowing, but everyone was just like coming out and coming out. We're like, wow, this is more than impressive. Maybe we There's should no have rule. canceled when Jumanji was out. Um, but I, with that, I, it, this is not giving anything away, uh, Kitsy, but I, I think what is fun about the second one is that you get to see some of the same actors having to portray different characters yep. yeah oh that's fun. fun so yeah so they don't all go back into the game as the same character yeah oh fun so it was it was yeah, yeah so it was fun to watch them have to you know not only act like the character that they are but then act like the other actor acted in the movie before them yes. <laughs> so it, i thought i thought that that was uh really fun and you know nick jonas was back so that was great yeah, yeah. What a babe. I, was, I was glad they kept they brought him back and i was glad they brought colin hanks back i think it's you know those those little things to have those actors come back and be in it i i appreciated because it tied it all back to the to the film from three years earlier mm. or whatever well, and isn't Colin Hanks just morphing into his father? He's oh, he's looking more and more like him every day. <laughs> I love him. Do you remember the first time I ever saw Colin Hanks? I know he's been in other things, but was on Roswell, the original Roswell. I didn't watch the original oh, Roswell. Did it, did anybody else watch it? Nope. I'm sorry. No, Not I have I. no idea what's going on. Oh my god. No idea. Nobody? It was nope. so good. It was three <laughs> beautiful little seasons and they were just it oh god. Catherine Heigl was on it. It was before she was huge. And um, she even talked about how at one point they made all of the girls start wearing leather skirts and leather pants because they were on around the same time as Buffy. And Buffy and Faith in the series were watching or were wearing leather pants all the time. It was like mm-hmm. the leather pants period in Buffy. We all remember that. <laughs> and <laughs> they tried to make yes, we do. Yeah, they, they, started, um, they started trying to make the girls in Roswell wear leather pants a lot. So they were like trying to pick up on the whole Buffy vibe. I thought that was really funny from a behind the scenes thing. But it's a, it's a really good little little series. I think you guys would all enjoy it because we enjoy a lot of the same things. So Not you and Kitsy. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Kitsy, no. we do. We have differences, but we do. I've, I've never seen Buffy. Uh, tried you know, the first couple nice episodes little... and was like, I'm out. But I, I tried too late. If it, Had I been in <laughs> oh, the you... moment when it had come out, I'm sure it would have been great. But it's lost something yeah. over the years well, to me. You know what? Let's talk Let's talk to Jana about that because she has just started binging Buffy. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you, Jana? It's important. Um, I'm only at season shit. Um (laughs) 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 Uh, I think I'm on season two. I'm almost at the end of season two right now. Um I haven't watched Ooh, yeah. I didn't watch any today. Yesterday was a really hard day for me cuz I was doing laundry which meant I didn't have anything better to do besides watch TV and Kit. it just Buffy and Angel had sex and then Angel turned into be a dick and then I was just like, "Okay. <laughs> I don't know." So, uh, so. <laughs> So what's oh, your thing, Jana? Some of Jana's tweets. Yes, please what's read. What's my what? <laughs> These are some of Jana's texts to me as she's watching Buffy. <laughs> why is it? Why is it that David Boreanaz looks exactly the same in Buffy as he did in Bones? Mm. Like he didn't age at all. Mm-hmm. A little because his vampire. face didn't change. Mm. Next question. <laughs> <Vampire>. <laughs> I took a nap and went to the store. I was literally so damn shook that he was a vamp. Like I thought he was an angel because you know his name. <laughs> I thought they were just being obvious. <laughs> No, this isn't supernatural. Come on. I know, right? (laughs) 
I asked her what she thought of Willow. She said she's adorable, but I'm sad for her because she loves Xander so much and he's just a dumb boy. Oh, yeah. you have such That's a journey sweet. ahead of you, Jonna. Such a journey. Oh, yes. Yeah. And, and that whole thing with Angel, when Joss Whedon is interviewed, because I've watched possibly every interview with Joss Whedon about Buffy. And, you know, he talks about how that's the big metaphor for for what happens to a lot of young people. Um, you know, it's that age old thing where, you know, you give the guy what he wants and then he, you know, turns into a jerk or whatever. So they made that like this quintessential mm-hmm. thing where he physically, literally turns into a jerk because he loses his soul. Which is, yeah, great. that explains so, it. Yeah. Here's what so I took away from that whole conversation <laughs> is John only watched it because it was laundry day. I don't know. Call me wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. No. No, that's not true. That's not true. No. That's not she, true. No. Later on, she said, also, Seth Green is in this, too, with a whole bunch of exclamation points. Oh, uh, exclamation exclamation, <laughs> exclamation <laughs> points. Keep that Wisconsin accent she said, this whole awkward, that This whole awkward teen talking too much or too little in front of their crush is so damn relatable. And I'm 25. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Kitsy, I I would say to give Angel a try because it is, uh, you know, I mean, Buffy is set in high school. And if you think about, you know, the first season, you're talking about 20 years ago. So um, not uh, not anywhere of where you're at. And the effects are not great. And it did take them a little bit to kind of find their group, get their. Yeah, yeah, they find their yeah. groove. Mm-hmm. Um, but Angel is sort of the story. It, it remains sort of in the in the Buffy verse as uh, being a grown up in this world. Yeah. Is that the um, when I, Eliza I, joins Dushku? Uh, Eliza Eliza joins in season three. Season three is so good. That's when the I, leather pants come out. Yeah, <laughs> we just how hot she that, is. That's actually oh god, seriously. Right? I, like she, I had no idea who she was until I started watching watching uh, the show with with KJ, and I'm sitting here going, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong. Sarah Michelle Gellar is pretty think and, is hot, but, and women but, think is yeah. hot as well. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And Kitsy, I think you would really love her character. She is so badass. And, She's very rock and roll. And yeah. you like you're you're cheering for her, and then you're so mad at her, and you're like, "What are you doing?" Yeah. And then she's she just walks that line so well she's such a great character even when she's at her worst she's a great character and i just want to awesome. i just want to make a pitch for buffy to kitsy separately and say this was just a groundbreaking situation for female leads being a television basically female superhero lead and she her hero's journey is strong and it's that's what you have to you know, as an adult looking back on it, there are certainly, there's a bunch of cheese and there are some bad effects. But but her journey as a character is is significant and important, I think, for, for women. I really do. I mean, I know maybe I I'm over, that. overstepping or overplaying on Buffy, but I really do feel that way about it. Well, I don't <laughs> think you are at all. I mean, there are, there are college courses devoted to the show because of how groundbreaking it was yes. and, the, and the way that females were portrayed what college uh, is that but, uh, not my college <laughs> not <either>. my college <laughs> <laughs> but here's and, and a woman being strong and and leaders in a, a tv show or a movie is great and i'm all for it but it just takes a certain character for me to enjoy like i am not a fan of captain marvel We've been over this a million times. Yes, it's great that she's the first female that's had her own Marvel superhero movie, yada, 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 girl power. I just don't like Captain Mar- Captain Marvel. I love Brie. Brie's absolutely amazing. I heard nothing but wonderful things about her when she was at Ace, but I don't like the character Captain Marvel. And I'm really picky about the, kind of like in real life, the characters I like and the characters I don't like. I'm, it's either I'm black or white. <laughs> yeah. Well, I would say Shelly might not like this. Uh, 
Uh, I would say when this is kind of similar to the Harry Potter discussions that we have, most people's favorite character on this show is not Buffy. Right. Okay. Yes. Except for me, because once again, just like Harry, Buffy is my favorite character. Now, I got it bad for Spike. I will admit that right now. I do like Spike. He's everything and a bag of chips. Oh, yeah. John, wait wait until you get further in the I know James Marsters too well. I don't know if I can... (laughs) Watch him be Spike. Yeah. Does that make sense? Oh, you you could just for the simple fact of like how how well he rocks a British accent. The entire series is just you and you is know he, he doesn't British? speak like that. No, he's not British. Oh, God, no. I just ruined it for Jana. Oh, sorry. Sure. <laughs> no, no, he is not. But the way I mean, like the way he plays the character. I and I know you've worked with James for years, but dude, he is amazing he is that accent is awesome oh it is i mean it's it's more spot on than than like actual proper british accents of people that i know yeah wow (laughs) well there you go i'm still not gonna watch it but (laughs) that's for uh you know trying to talk (laughs) (laughs) john do you have any more thoughts to share besides the text messages that i read Um, (laughs) no i mean i guess i well like i said i didn't watch today because yes yesterday angel really like episode after episode i was just like crying because he was being so mean to buffy i was like why would you do this to her like she just loves you so much and you know you just got some and then you just left and i just can't even believe that this is Mm. happening right now and so i haven't watched today because my feelings are very hurt so i I I I haven't watched the day because my feelings are hurt. That's really cute. That's That's a real thing. That's why when I read books, though, if I'm reading a book and a character like pisses me off to the point I can't read it anymore, I have to put it down. This is something that you and Katie have in common. Katie, what have you quit because you've gotten so mad? You've quit video games. You've quit TV shows. Everything. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Yeah. Like if you're playing a game and, and you get to a level where, you know, it's gotten to the point where you, you can recite what the antagonist is saying because they're mocking you because you can't beat it. Yes, I get angry and I give up. Uh, TV shows. Um, there are a couple ones like The Handmaid's Tale and stuff like that where I can only watch in small doses, like one episode at a time because it just wears on you. Um, I want to watch it so bad. Especially now, I'm yeah. afraid to. Mm-mm. I'm no, trying to be better scary. about pacing myself, too, because I watched all of the tiger king but i tried to take my time with it <laughs> it didn't okay. work okay you guys let's talk about the tiger king but do you want okay. to I have not because really because I i'm I concerned about you uh patrick and i watched about two four minutes four minutes is generous <laughs> i think it was less than that and i was like i don't know who thought I would like this. I this love it. This is going to be a disaster for me. And I'm going to end up throwing things at my television. You have to take well, the animal you are one of those people of that it. has a conscience and cares about cats. What's that, Kitsy? You have to take the animal maintenance out of it and watch it for the train wreck, ah! wreck hillbilly, no. Jerry no, Springer geez. show that it is. Yes. No, see, that's, that's the, that is the absolute number one problem right there. I can't do it. Yeah, I can't. But here's the deal. I'm going to let you guys enjoy it. it. (laughs) They've they've all been, PETA has taken care of them all at this point. So know that. Except for the one that killed her husband. Go on. Well, yeah. Well, hey, that's but, hey, but you know what? The, hey, said, all, ooh. <laughs> guess what? <laughs> the tiger strikes back. <laughs> hey, guess what? The animals in the ASPCA commercials, you know, are getting taken care of after they shot those films. But guess what? I still ran my, I like flew out of the kitchen and like dove at the remote to change the channel when the commercial came on yesterday. Oh, that's a rough. Yeah, we're, those we're are too worse sensitive. Tiger came to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. I know that stuff is going on. And I know that our law enforcement does the best they can with what flimsy laws we have about owning big cats. But I, I, I don't care how crazy this guy is, how entertaining it is. I, 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 I can't. I can't. But and I want I because that. I can't do it. I want to live vicariously through you and hear about all of the fun that I'm missing with Tiger King. It has everything I I thought you would like. I ended up liking. Um, There's country music. There's (laughs) mother. There's murderer. There's 
uh, drugs, there's polygamy, there's, there's drugs, crime, <laughs> there's yeah. straight men marrying men, there's those straight men getting other women pregnant and having to get divorced, and then there's yeah. murder and all the stuff, and, and men with no teeth who think they are the hottest thing on the fucking planet. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess he got his teeth fixed. Ew, gross. So. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, he did. Yeah, it's I, you know right. I can't even. It's, it's literally past. Yes, and it, it's a Jerry Springer show extended on focused on one white trash situation, and I can call it white yes. trash because I'm I half loved every trash. moment of it. <laughs> 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 on which side? <laughs> oh my God. On my sperm donor side. <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, I mean, I almost well, drank my drink. Uh, thank you. Did anybody else just hear that growl so, come over? <laughs> Who's haunted? Was, that, I also heard that. Was that the, was Patches. The door. Yeah. Oh yeah. Go <laughs> ahead, Jonna. Name, name name that secret sound. <laughs> <laughs> it's the patio door at KJ's house. I hear it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that's how much, but before social distancing, that's how much Jonna lived with us. She's like, oh, I know that growl. That's the door. <laughs> <laughs> what was that put, other put show on Netflix that, that was huge it, last year? It was about the girl who was kind of sort of kidnapped by the guy. It was like a true crime. Kind of sort of kidnapped. Oh my oh. god, it was so horrible. What was that called? What it was, was it called? Tracy uh, and I watched that together and it was and and the stupidity that happened there stupidity. was stupidity. It was her parents mind boggling. Oh my god. I, I don't know. Oh my gosh. She was gosh, what was it called? And it was like it wasn't in plain sight, was it? Was that yeah, one? something like that. That's no, that was a similar, yeah, but I, I don't think, think that's right. I was going to say that was a that was a series on no, USA starring Mary was McCormick. A series. There was a okay, so so it was it was a true story about. Is it not abducted in plain sight? Because that's what's popping up. Abducted in plain sight. Yeah. Is that what it was called? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Jan, yes. Yes. Jan Jan Broberg. Yes. Has nobody else seen, you saw it, Kitsy? Right. Oh yes. So good. Oh. Oh my god. I mean it's oh, again it's terrible things world. happen to people, but it's, it's you can't stop watching. You can't yes. stop watching, but as a parent, I cannot figure that shit out. And I was watching no. it and I was like, these parents are literally the dumbest people I have ever seen. It is and it is it, it, it I mean, Tracy and I were watching it together. We just kept going, what? What's happening here? What's happening? It was crazy. Yeah. This what made the parents so dumb? Oh, honey. You, you, um, you just have to watch it. Everything. Everything. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, basically, this dude was, you know, I molesting their, their daughter and with in their front permission. of them. And they, with their, with their permission. <gasps> I mean, oh they, were, oh, yeah, they were like, you know, oh, he wants to sleep in the room with her. Okay. I mean, it was like, what? 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 Yeah. Yeah. That it was crazy. Crap. Wasn't crazy. he like the pastor crazy. or something like that? Um, something along those lines. That kind of authority figure, though. Yeah. Something. Yeah. I mean, there was some situation there. I can't remember if he was a pastor or something because I don't remember those particular details. But I know what was super disturbing as is. is does anybody mind if I do a spoiler here? No, go ahead. No, no, no. I'm not go ahead. Okay, no, go no. For it. Because because e- both of the parents ended up getting physically involved with this guy too to make it even. Oh, oh yes, the parents. Parents. yes, both, what? both, mom and dad. That, no, no. So, so and okay, me, so I do have qu- okay, so I have questions then. <laughs> Mm. So yep. it abducted in plain sight. So was this girl? Did he take her at some point? Yeah, uh, with he, the parents' or, permission. Yeah, yeah, he did. And then they were like, "Well, maybe you should bring her home." Yeah. And then he was like, "No, you can't have her back." What? I can't remember how. I can't they remember ended either. Up, so there are no spoilers. No, because <laughs> I'm Alzheimer's years old. But, yeah. <laughs> Because neither of us can remember, you know, um, which secrets are always safe with me because I'll never remember. Um, <laughs> maybe that should have been my fun fact today. But I, I can't remember how they ended up, you know, getting him to bring her back. But even after they came back, like 
the relationships and stuff continued. I mean, it was just really weird. Oh, mm-hmm. it's a train See, this wreck. Is why, why do you guys watch this stuff? It's real. Mm-hmm. I don't want to know that that's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not that my life is terrible. Make good choices, kids. I, exactly. Uh, it made, especially after watching that one, I was like, you know, I was a damn good parent. Just putting that out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to ask, does that give you vindication in your parenting or what? <laughs> Uh, okay, did you guys see the uh, the meme that's going around about your uh, apocalypse team? Did you did you find out who your apocalypse team is? No, I want to know. No, How do you I'm find just out? Living my life. Okay, like well, I'll help you. And there is no virus. I'm just putting that out there. I am living in denial. <laughs> what, this is what apocalypse. Oh, this crazy. is. Here's the thing. There might be an apocalypse somewhere down the road. It's not a specific apocalypse. Okay, Kitsy, oh, okay. so this is just preparing yourself in case of an apocalypse, in case you're ignoring the one that's actually happening. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> I am now drinking uh, straight from the bottle, bitches. <laughs> uh, okay, so Kitsy, your birth month and your birth date, please. July 16th. I'm going to give you your... Okay. July. Harry Potter. Okay, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and and Captain America. Oh, of course. That's a damn good team. Oh, I'm just saying. Come on. I'm jealous. That's a damn good team. I am so jealous. I don't this is no good to me. No good to me. <laughs> uh, are, are, is our friendship uh, done? It did that just happen? Yes, because you know who mine are? Uh September twelfth, I got Mike Tyson. <laughs> Girl. And Ew. Austin Powers. <laughs> and you know, I, I hate Austin Powers, you guys. I hate it. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. How about no? No. You just want to come hang and out. you get Thank Harry you Potter and Captain America? Oh my I God. do. I yeah. do. Okay. It's uh, a big Jada, b- uh, b- birth month and birth date. <laughs> Uh, November 10th. All right. Uh, oh, this is, yeah, because this is, uh, we got to figure out what this is. Uh, Bruce Lee. Okay. Ooh. And, <laughs> and Donald Trump. Oh, oh my God. God. Wow. Wow. Come on. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. And, at least you'll get daily updates about the, the apocalypse. <laughs> oh, unfortunate. Everybody can put me out of my misery. I'm trying to get some shit. <laughs> That's so I got unfortunate. <laughs> Hey, hey, uh, hey, Kenzie, thank you very much for uh, for upgrading to the larger hot tub, the swim spa. I love that. Thank you that you're going to house all of us now. <laughs> We're all moving in with you. It only happened in July so I can open the pool. Yes. Uh, all right. Uh, Katie, your uh, birth month and birth date, please. July and two. Okay. So Fellow you also master. get. You have Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is okay. awesome. This is so great. Uh, Harry Potter and Iron Man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm done with this. I'm I'm going to log off and go home. So oh, shit. Amazing. I forgot you're not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Katie I was gonna, hates Iron you know, Man good. so much. <laughs> Oh, it's a good Can one, Katie. I'll take them. I'll take yeah, both of them trade. for you. Oh, man. What's your Shelly? All right, uh, Shelly? January 17th. All right. Uh, Daryl Dixon. Oh, yes. Oh. And, <laughs> and Sorry the, about that. And, Norman. Okay, go ahead. And the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> yes, what a badass group. I'm super excited. All of them? I all of them. on her team. That's not fair. I get the biggest It's, it's team. a team. It doesn't specify how many people are on the team. Well, everyone I get only the, has like two, so. I get the biggest team, y'all. I'm pretty happy. Hey, hey. What, hey, one of the dates is Shaggy and Scooby, so. <laughs> I'm just saying, I got the yes, chosen yes. child. Uh, and patches? America. Yeah, I, we're all coming to live with you. Oh, and, no, 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 and, hold on. That's not Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What is that? That look, no, that Teenage Mutt? Oh, Teenage Mutt? What, what is that? What? No, it's oh. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It just got no, cut off. No, because that's on the 15th. Oh, you're right. It's just Teenage Mutt. I don't know what a teenage mutt is. is. I'm going to Google it. Google. I don't know. Google the teenage mutt. Okay, I'm doing it right now. Anime. Okay. While you're doing that, Patches is October 12th. Oh, I had the worst. So he also gets to share Austin Powers with me. Which that I'm okay with. Hey. 
I, love, I need some mojo. I love you know, he okay. powers. a bit much. It's too much. It's too much for me. Um, and then uh, Wendy. We need to discuss who Wendy is. I think it's Peter Wendy Pan. from Peter Pan. That's what I was Do thinking. You? Yeah. Yeah. That's but the only Wendy she, I can think she of. She had a last name, didn't she? I Darling. I yeah. So I think it's Wendy from the Wendy's. You, you get the Baconator. <laughs> That's right. I like redheads. <laughs> that seems like a redheads. deal. Yeah, right? Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Whoever Wendy is. Maybe just a, you get to pick a random Wendy. Cool. Uh, there's Wendy, the talk show host. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wendy Williams. Yeah. yeah, Wendy Williams. Oh, she she's great. Oh, that'd be a great conversation. In a fight. <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't. Uh, if you would like to see who is on your apocalypse team, you can join the Kind of Nerdy Network on Facebook, and we're, uh, we're, we're talking about it on there. Uh, what else is going on? Katie, have you, uh, since the last time we talked, you've, you've settled into your house? Are you back to gaming? Um, Not quite. I spent some time watching Tiger King instead. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Girl. Okay. Uh, are you are you going to watch Sonic the Hedgehog now that it's out on digital? No, for multiple <laughs> reasons, but no. <laughs> Please elaborate. One, I don't like Sonic. Two, um, I know they fix the animation style, but it still kind of weirds me out, so I'm not really into it. Um, and three, the bad guy is Jim Carrey, and I don't know if I'm into that. Hmm. Why not? I love Jim Carrey. The reviews said that he did a great job. I know. But I've always seen him as a protagonist, not an antagonist. Hmm. He was the antagonist in the series of Unfortunate Events. Yeah, yeah, I didn't watch that either. Oh, yeah, wow. it was so and good. He was the Riddler in Batman. Yeah, that Ooh, does. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm me. just saying. I didn't say yeah, it was he, great. Now, now, don't get me wrong. He, I, I personally liked him as the Riddler in in Batman Forever. Mm-hmm. I thought like he was like perfect. Like oh, now it, it, I have that Batman Forever songs. took me like back to the '60s, like the over the top character, you know, like villains. Yep, you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Kiss from a Rose. Yeah, Seal's gonna be stuck in your head all night no, now. No, uh, stop it. But yeah, no, I thought. <laughs> I don't want that but no, he did a great job. Head. You're welcome. <laughs> no, no, somebody sing it. No, stop it. Stop it. I will leave here right now. <laughs> Baby, love <Love> it. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I didn't care about anything in that movie except Val Kilmer. All right, you guys to talked me into watching right. the others. It wasn't us. It no, wasn't you. No, no. Nobody did. So Who's good. Your other nope. friends. Then, <laughs> well, I actually thought it was you. I don't know who it was now. <laughs> um, it was so good though, and Nicole. <laughs> had to it was really good though. 30s vibe going on, and it was it was stunning. Oh, okay. But you know, she, she looked great in think. Aquaman. Yeah, you know she yeah she did look fantastic in Aquaman too. She really. She did. was blonde. Was she blonde there too? She was white. She was Whoa. like silver white. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah that was yeah that was yeah hot. that was awesome. Yeah, she was blonde. Yeah. I like that. Everything I've ever seen her in. Oh no, she's. A, I mean, she's pretty much a redhead. Mm -hmm. no, she's been blonde in everything I've seen her in. Her. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'm not watching enough Nicole huh. Kidman. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Is it KJ who doesn't like Will Ferrell? No, that's Katie, I don't right? hate him. I just don't love a lot. Of no, I'm okay with it. Okay, so, sorry. Uh, told me that they do not like Will Ferrell. I don't love the uh, uh, the movies where he's he's the lead, like Talladega Nights and I love that uh, movie. <laughs> the <laughs> other guys, yeah, like, Blades of Glory. It's Talladega actually, Nights was the so first movie good. we watched in our house. It's Step Brothers. Oh, that man. movie was just a, Wait a steamy second. I dumpster love fire. I love you could have christened your house with any movie and you chose Talladega Nights. If you're not first, it you're was last. the one I had on DVD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clearly Katie. Hey, clearly Katie pisses excellence. Okay. <laughs> My kids, Walker, she was all and hopped Texas up on Ranger. <laughs> Uh, did uh, did anybody here on the panel watch Law and Order Special Victims Unit? Oh, me. You? Me. I love SVU. Whoa, whoa. That is my shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, John is in. Uh, I love SVU. Are you a fan? Okay. Did you hear the, the news about SVU? That it's being renewed for like three more seasons? Uh, no, that uh, Christopher Maloney is returning in a spinoff. Oh, no Europe. way! <laughs> <laughs> no way! 
<laughs> uh, it is going to be a 13 episode series that follows him as he heads up an organized crime division in the NYPD. Is he going to be playing Stabler? Yes. yes. Now they're saying. Oh, my God. They're saying, they're, yeah. I mean, it, it's basically going to be a, a spinoff of SVU. So where did he go? Oh, my God. Fuck. Uh, oh my, like, excuse my language. I'm oh. so sorry. <laughs> like you're kissy. I can't wait to tell my sister. Oh my god, that's like our favorite character on SVU. You know my my sister. Uh, it, he was like one of her first crushes. Oh, I love she, Christopher Maloney. Oh my god, he's such. Oh man, he has my heart for real. Is he really? Oh, he, y- um, y- Google him. Yeah, and when you see him, you'd be like, oh, him. I cannot take him serious anymore oh. after I watched Happy. I liked Has that. Has anyone show. seen as, that show? As weird as oh, that my show God. was, I liked it. Yeah, that, I mean, that parents have a hard time watching it because it, you know, it dealt with a child getting abducted, but, yeah. but like, it was so out there and he was so, like, brutal and vulgar. And, I love like, it. I'm like, uh, uh no I not, I, I can't not take at all anymore. not at all like he was in SVU not at all no. <laughs> I mean, like the polar I opposite I mean he was kind of like he was in SVU because SVU he was still he was pretty you know pent up in SVU the only parallel was the fact that he was a police officer that's true that was it well I mean oh, in, in happy, he was a disgraced police officer yeah. yes that see exactly that guy he, he was in uh what hot American summer too I believe yeah he was in Runaway Bride with Julia Roberts in uh Richard Gere. Oh, yeah. I had that movie for free on VHS. (laughs) On VHS. (laughs) Thanks to my radio days. (laughs) Oh, my God. I love, oh, my God. I love Christopher Maloney. OMG. I'm going to cry. Right. I wish y'all could have seen how I almost fainted and fell off my bed when you said that. Oh, wait, <laughs> oh my god! I almost fainted him. and fell off your bed. No, literally, I love him. Well, when he left SVU, it was so sudden, like because it was just like the beginning. I can't think of what season it was, but um, I know him from Oz. From Oz, yeah. Was- oh, that's right. Mm. I forgot about that. And fun fact: he was, he was filming that. Oz and SVU at the same time. No way. Yeah, was oh he really? God, can you imagine? in that schedule yeah it was like he was shooting svu and then he had to go and shoot oz like right after or vice versa wow yeah he was working um but (laughs) but when he left svu it was literally so sudden like no one expected it it was just like captain cragen came in and told Liv, and he was like Liv, elliot put in his papers and we were like what where did he go and it was so it was just at the end of an episode and then they never talked about it ever again and i was like what what happened why did he leave sounds like somebody didn't get their contract renewed yeah right well and that that was before social media like before we knew everything about everything you know social media wise too um i don't know i mean do you think that that would have i mean i don't know if if he got done wrong why would he be coming back i mean i guess money Uh, yeah yeah, money (laughs) but i don't know i i think if i if i recall he it was he 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 chose to leave yeah yeah that was he wasn't like written out yeah they did they didn't yeah well yeah yeah, more than likely (laughs) i don't mean to start yeah no but but... they kept it right no but they i mean i remember nbc keeping that secret until you know until that until after his character left and then it was just like yeah you know no longer blah 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 blah. i can't remember the details but but then it was just like all right cool you know he kind of became a household name you know a bit and was like all right let's see what he does next well he hadn't done shit he he was in happy which uh our friend trevor turned me on to uh during the show and i was just like oh my god this is the most obscene ridiculous ridiculous show i've ever seen in my life wait a minute is happy the let's watch another movie? episode no happy, happy no <laughs> that's happy feet <laughs> no. okay i was lost you're like oh a God. Do i'm like not, when did that go dark no it, do right. not show your children happy no, <laughs> no do, do not no do not no you'll get yeah guaranteed nightmares <laughs> Oh, I know like what you're talking about now. There's, a, there's a blue unicorn, but trust me, it's not kid friendly. Yep, yes. I know exactly what you're talking about now. <laughs> I was going to say, like, when I was watching it, I was like, literally, what the hell is happening? Like, I didn't know what was going on, like, at any point in time, but I just kept watching it. I was like, it's going to make sense eventually. It really did. It didn't, did it? Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> but, it was, but it was so, it, I was, it was just like watching The Stranger. Like, I literally had no idea what was going on, but I just felt the need to keep watching it. I am, I am on episode two of The Stranger. So, fingers, that's the British one, right? Yes. 
Oh yeah, yeah. We forgot have about that one. No really freaking yeah. clue what's going on, but it looks like it could That's be interesting. exactly how it's going to be until the end. Okay, gotcha. I'm only Literally watching it when I'm working out. Episode, yeah, episodes seven and eight, like the last two episodes of the season, like everything is going to come together in those last two episodes, and you're going to be like, "What just happened?" So it's worth sticking to it, is That's, what you're saying? Yes. Well, it was to me. I don't. I don't know how well your attention span is with lo- not knowing what's going on. I watched the Tiger can- King. <laughs> 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 well, there you go. Yeah. If, I can watch- if I don't know what's going on, I'm going to watch it until I figure out what the hell's going on. Gotcha. Speaking of hey, uh, Netflix, hey, got- does, who, have any have any of you guys watched Lock and Key yet? No, it's in every my single queue, episode. Though. I, I haven't watched it yet. I, how is it? Um. I liked it, but I didn't love it. I'm not it was amazing. With it. I'm not going to go out and get the <laughs> graphic novels. Um, <laughs> can't see what the. Apparently, what the hell. Shelly and um, I have nothing in common. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. I told you. <laughs> This is why for four years I haven't had you guys on the show today. (laughs) I I knew this would happen. (laughs) It all makes sense. Oh, God, it makes so much sense. Here I am expecting Um, a lot of journal coming out next year, and now it's never going to (laughs) happen. No. Never going to happen. That's right. Um, Yeah. So, I mean, watch it. Watch it. I, I, I say watch it just to say that you watched it and had that experience. But yeah, that's kind of how I felt about it. Hey, Katie. Katie. Oh, she left. Oh. Katie. Hey, what's up? Did she die? <laughs> hey. I'm Did here. you fall asleep? I'm still here, hey, I, I promise. A, a, after this, after the second Katie, all I pictured was that meme. <laughs> Katie, <laughs> I told y'all I was leaving. <laughs> Did you watch? Uh, Lock and King, Katie? Can you get some trick? Already got trivia pulled up for you. Look at oh, you, you're the best. You are the best. Now, did you watch Lock and Key, Katie? That's what we were talking about when you were ignoring us. Absolutely not. (laughs) You would love it. Interested? (laughs) Didn't even look interested. Nope. You would love it. So, so Katie, just let me ask you this. Hang on just a second. Hang on just a second. Katie, you said absolutely no interest, and Kitsy's saying that you would love it. Why do you think she would love it? Talk Katie Um, into watching this. It's got creepy, crawly, haunted stuff. It's got murder. It's got everything you love in it, Katie. Yeah, but the problem. Promo picture with the face was not that interesting. Yeah, I didn't even see that promo picture. <laughs> I don't even know what she's talking about. I feel like I need to Google that promo picture with the face now because, wow, I don't like know. Like the one that's on the Netflix when you pull it up. Uh, it's just a key, okay. right? Yeah. yeah that's what that's I thought. why it looked lame. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen Casablanca. It. Why? Because it's in black and no, white. No, it's, it's the key in somebody's neck, in the back of the neck. It oh. is? Yeah. Well, yes. that, well, that's what comes up when I, when I Google promo picture picture lock and key. Yeah, well, I don't watch TV with my glasses on, so that's why I only notice the key. <laughs> you guys, I'm going to tell you, now, now I don't want to bring up, you know, our stay at home too often, but this has been great. I haven't worn my glasses in 19 days. Wow. I, it, that does not sound good it, for your eyes. I know. I know, but I'm loving it. I haven't <laughs> worn glasses. I haven't worn real pants. I barely worn a bra. It's been great. <laughs> I've literally put on a bra one time since I've been at home quarantine <laughs> us that essential was, employees we inter- have we were, to we were interviewing uh jane levy that was the only reason i put it on oh, that was, <laughs> that's nice oh that you know what that was a great interview I, I jane will be glad to know that you put a bra on for it <laughs> you're welcome i even took the shower i have so i have to wear a bra. everything um, so Jane, uh, Jane Levi is the star of uh, Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. Oh, did you watch the new episode? Uh, I may have started watching last night without patches today because I was having a really bad day. Like it was like my day where I was like, it's really the end of the world and I'm never leaving my house. Wow, okay. And so I put Zoe's extraordinary playlist whatever makes you happy Uh, i support you okay i'm gonna if you want that episode to make you feel better um it's gonna make you cry because i definitely cried so uh, is it really yeah Yeah. can't wait to watch it but it it was so it was really a good episode and jane levy did such her singing and dancing and her emotions and the whole thing was just amazing she just we're gonna watch it tonight yes watch i mean watch you know it because it's really good but definitely have some tissue we're gonna watch it right after 
Choo 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 pow. Ching ching ching. Katie's terrible trivia. It's time. Yay. All right, guys. Remember to take a take a breath before you ding in because Kitsy's a little bit behind the rest of us. Ooh. <laughs> oh, crappy internet. Give her a chance. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Katie. What's our uh, uh, what's our category for today? Animals. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yes. Animals. I feel like I should uh, excel at this. Well, at least the first question's animals. Okay. When scientists first saw specimens of this Australian mammal, they thought it was a hoax. Jana. Jana. A kangaroo. Wrong. Okay. Kitsy. Kitsy. Platypus. Maybe. <laughs> Kitsy. Go ahead. Platypus. 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 Maybe. Platypus is right. Congratulations, Kitsy. Those are from Australia? Yeah. Well, Have you seen one here? I don't go outside. Not recently. I didn't go outside before quarantine started, so I definitely wouldn't have seen anything anyway. We're going to reemerge from this, and there's going to be like a platypus going down the street. They took over while we were gone. Oh, well, there's already happens. goats roaming the streets in Wales. Oh, oh, they're always they really? roaming. Yeah, yeah, people were taking oh, pictures of them like awesome. in their garden. Yeah, was uh was the news story about the the dolphins in uh the the, 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 the Venice? Was that real? I don't know. Yeah, I think I'd so. be interested to know though. That'd be awesome. Was it? Because I know that the swan one was fake. They were like, "No, there's no swan swimming around." But I think the dolphin one was real. I don't know. We're only kind of nerdy. We don't always get things right. Damn it! The internet Please forgive is us lying if you're yelling at us right now. I don't even understand what. What? Like. Wow! Shocker. All right, Katie. What's next? <clears throat> These <clears throat> birds are excellent parents and can find their way back to their nest from 1,300 miles away. Kathy. Yes. Penguins. Wrong. Damn it. Patches. <laughs> Patches. Pigeons. Pigeons is right. Woo. Yeah. Ding, 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 Fun fact. Patches. I had yeah. a pet pin- pigeon, sort of, that kind of was in this cage in our greenhouse when I was a little kid. and her- You kept a pigeon in a cage? Yeah. I don't know. Hey, hey. Where else would you keep at the bathtub? I was like nine when this happened. That reality show. <laughs> And um, she must have been, I'll have to ask my sister because, of course, again, memory. I don't know why we had her. And we named her Bernice. (laughs) (laughs) That is my grandmother's name. (laughs) (laughs) The one on the white trash side. (sighs) (laughs) All right, Katie. One more. What animal has the longest lifespan? Kitsy. Kitsy? Elephants. Wrong. Jonna. Damn it. Patches. Jonna. Ah, Jonna. Uh, some type of turtle. You're right. <laughs> oh, that makes what all kind? the sense. I don't know which kind what of kind? turtle, but I know it's a turtle. Sea turtle. Nope. It. it is the giant tortoise. Ah. <gasps> That's ah, right. An animal. It's from Nemo. I, yeah, it is from Nemo. They're like hundreds of years old or yeah. whatever. Huh. I didn't get any right. Don't don't tell anyone at Pet Pals TV. I'll lose my job. <laughs> uh, there were no cat or right, dog but, questions, so you're safe. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, all right. So uh, Kitsy has, uh, I don't know, like, what do you got? Like 12 podcasts now? Uh, what's going on over there? <laughs> Pick two. Pick two. I've got Oddity Files. The podcast. The and podcast. Get Scared podcast. Ah, hey, I've got uh, paranormal in the news. Do you guys want to hear it? Yes. Yes, we do. Yes. So this is from rollingstone.com. It's how ghosts nearly ruined the Foo Fighters 10th al- album. Sorry, there's Urban involved. So the Foo Fighters reportedly faced something entirely new while making their upcoming 10th album, Ghosts. Dave Grohl recently told Mojo, I don't know who Mojo is, but that's what the article says, that the house uh. in... You know, California, a 40s construction where they recorded had a sinister past. Dave can't talk about the past because he signed an NDR. But what he can say is that when we walked into the house in Encino, I knew the vibes were definitely off. But the sound was fucking on. He said that. I did not. <laughs> Lowell said, NME, we started working there and it wasn't long before things started happening. We'd come back to the studio and the next thing, all of the guitars would be detuned or the settings we put on the board all of them had gone back to zero he continued we would open up a pro set pro tool session and tracks would be missing there were some tracks that were put on there that we didn't put 
on there. But just what? like weird open mic noises, no EVPs, um, nobody playing an instrument or anything like that, just an open mic recording room. And we'd fucking zero in, he says, not me, <laughs> on sound. <laughs> and we didn't hear any voices or anything really decipherable, but something was happening. Number one, Dave Grohl is a potty mouth like myself. Number two, I want to buy this house. That's why he he couldn't tell anything. He signed an NDR because dude is trying to sell this house. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. You can have that house all to yourself, Kitsy. You can have Dips. it. <laughs> I want to hear these tracks. Did they save them? I would assume so. Um, I'm just kind of pissed there was no voices on them i'm not gonna lie or like you know ghost jam in the background guitars playing drums playing all by like haunted mansion type people ghost jam all of a sudden you hear this like really creepy harpsichord going on or something like that <laughs> it's Foo Fighters. You think they have a harpsichord in the room come on right right <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, that's kind of cool that he's uh, he's out talking about it. Uh, oh, Shelly had to go because her Schwan man is here. I remember Ooh. the Schwan. Oh, the Schwan? Super jelly. Ah, oh, the Schwan man. I boycott the Schwan man now. That is some good food. It is good food. But that's a good way to get they food right now. The Schwan man is probably bringing in some money. Dude, I am. I they don't have the old rectangular school pizzas anymore, and I'm oh. done with them. Don't. That's what did no, it for you? It's yeah. It's I mean, dude. That, that, that's all I ask of the Schwaman. Yes, are their ice cream sandwiches delicious? Hell yeah, are they are. Ice but they don't have the board. damn school pizza that I'm accustomed to getting from the Schwaman. Hey, okay. the language. Sorry, you are not Dave Grohl or no, Kitsy Duncan. Been dropping a lot of <laughs> <laughs> or Donna. <laughs> and. This podcast has been brought to you by the Schwan Man. Get Love your it. food delivered. Pay a lot of money for it, but it's worth it. Their ice cream Don't ask about the pizza. Uh, and uh, make sure you check out uh, Shelly's doing it, it's some really cool stuff. That it, I'm proud of her. She's getting like she's making videos and she's showing off all of her creativity right now. And mm -hmm. uh, she's got a lot of time to journal, and journal is her business. So uh, go to conquestjournal.com and support Shelly and her oh, nerdy Shelley. endeavors. <laughs> Same choice in television shows, but support <laughs> Kelly. Remind <laughs> <laughs> me not to do it next time. <laughs> No way. Hell no. <laughs> yes. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the, I don't know, the Instagram posts be just my old hammer bottle sitting in front of my computer. I, okay. So it's, is it, it's old hammer. Oh, sorry. Kitsy. That's okay. And it is made here locally uh, by West Fork whiskey and it is amazing and i'm so i was so excited when i saw that bottle because i've been to the distillery a couple <gasps> times and it's a place it's kitsy it's downtown and it's a place we need to go because you can hang out and it's just you can just smell the whiskey being made it's oh so fantastic God. That sounds like a little slice of heaven. It is. It is. You guys, yeah. I'm back guys for just a moment. Yay. Uh, we were just plugging you. Sorry. Oh, we were just, yeah, we were totally That's all right. talking we, crap about you. We, we plugged all your wonderful products and uh, and how great you are at Conquest Journal. Oh, uh, thank you. Conquestjournal.com. Now, what did you get from the Schwan Man? Um, <laughs> I, I got um, a chicken pad thai dinner, um, and but he was sadly out of the shredded chicken and the other chicken breast that I wanted. So yeah. Chicken, I, chicken, and chicken. Good I didn't choice. get I didn't get all the chicken, <laughs> but I got a little bit of chicken. So there you did go. Did you get orange push-ups? I did <gasps> not get orange push-ups, which are fabulous. <gasps> I didn't get that them. is the reason you have the Schwan man come I to your know, house. I know, I know. That's yeah, all they're good for anymore now. All right, so what he'll be back in two weeks? Two weeks. How and often he does, said right. he said they're getting a truck in on Friday. So if we all place our order now we'll get our stuff for then. So that's okay. what I'm hoping for. Well, you tell him that we gave him a plug on the Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast <laughs> and we'd like some push ups in exchange. Oh, I love We're that. We're willing to do a deal. I'll tell him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you guys so much. I love you. I miss you. Love you. Miss we you. Love you. We miss you. Ooh, boop, 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 choo, pa, 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 pa. Thanks for listening to the Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast. Follow us online, kindofnerdygirls.com, <laughs> and on Twitter and Instagram at 
Kind of Nerdy Girls. <laughs> you can also join us on Facebook anytime. Keep up with the conversation at Kind of Nerdy Network. I just want to know, what is, is this is your impersonation of me? This is my impersonation of you. Thanks for listening. <laughs> oh, my God. Can't so bad at impersonations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you should hear a British accent. It's rubbish. Hello, Governor. Goodbye, Governor. <laughs> All right. Good- uh, goodbye. Just, just quit talking. All right. Goodbye. Love you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>